While I was in Addis, I had the opportunity to go to the um, historical museum um, downtown, which was really a, a cool thing. It didn't cost very much to get in either. The museum was pretty small, but had a lot of really interesting artifacts um, coming from a country where the history doesn't go back even a fraction of how far uh, Ethiopia is traced back. It's just incredible to see some of the things that were there. Um, historically, I believe uh, from reading some of the documents there, the history of Ethiopia can be traced back as early as 3000 BC when the Egyptians had traded with them. Um, and, you know, they weren't known as Ethiopia back then, but geographically, um, they were trading with the northern regions of Ethiopia. Uh, also, all of the stuff about Haile Selassie and uh, just how this man was emperor of Ethiopia from, I believe, the 30s to somewhere in the 70s, and how influential this man was, not only in his own country, but in <clears throat> a large part of Africa. This man clearly affected his nation and his, his area of the world. Um, so there was some clothing there from him, his throne that he sat on when he was alive, uh, just different stuff of that sort. The museum also just had a lot of really cool historical, um, I guess you could call them fossils or artifacts that had been dug up. And from a country that has been inhabited and, and lived in and just, just un uncountable generations of people living on this land uh, just to see pot fragments from, from years and years and years ago. It's just unbelievable. This, my friends, is the Sheraton Edis. I'm, I've read that it's the number one five-star hotel in all of Africa. By far the most expensive. This is like one-fifth of what the hotel actually has. Oh, and they stole the telephone booth from London, apparently. Um, I was here yesterday, had the most amazing sandwich I've ever had in my life. And, um, gosh, I got lost probably about six times just trying to find the pool and then the restaurant. Although they have like five or six different places that you can eat. There's clubs, there's bars, there's restaurants, there's buffets, there's just an immense amount of stuff that you can spend money on. So let me show you what the Sheraton looks like on a, a model scale. This is where I just walked in. This is the front gate. And then you walk down, these are all parking lots, into that front door right there. Um, so that's what I just showed you from there. But if you go around the back, and I haven't been here yet because these are the private villas. You can rent these out and they actually have their own swimming pools. And then there's, I think there's five of them. Oh, maybe just four. Um, and then right over there, here is the swimming pool. And there's like a kid's pool as well. And um, they have a little bar there for the people that are swimming as well. And then here's the back of the hotel. And they have all kinds of fountains. Um, you can see there's obviously lots of rooms. They have lots of restaurants and things like that. And now we're outside. Uh, and here are the fountains that I just showed you on this scale model. I'm gonna head down to the pool. You can pay, it's 150 Ethiopian burr to get into the pool, which works out to be about seven or eight US dollars. But it's a beautiful day. The clouds are going away and um, I'm gonna enjoy some swimming. <laughs> 